Hello, welcome to the section is 32 of the course as uh, persistent with C++ and Qt. Uh, this is Carlos and we're going to discuss about unit testing in Qt. So what is unit testing? You, I think you can search in Google if you want to know more about testing in Qt. You might look for Qt unit testing. And there is quite a small tutorial to understand a little bit how to write uh, unit testing in Qt. So I did so and to avoid write um, main.cpp in the main uh, project you might want to create a test unit and it's pretty much easy. You can go to inference engine or even in this blank space and say I would like to create a new project uh, you might want to go to other projects and type in this one that is called Qt unit testing and in the unit testing and next blah 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 next uh, this is pretty much the same uh, the convenience is to say the class that you want to test in this case inference uh, kernel that's the medium part next and I won't do it in finish I created a rating so this is kind of just an uh, overview uh, it's pretty much difficult it's not difficult but something that I get stuck was in this macro I say Q verify exception throw uh, I tried with the after range type of the exception but it didn't work um, it was kind of, it's kind of, um, it makes sense to use the out of range, but uh, it says that it's not working, that it's not the type. So what you need to do is to first uh, set the libraries, the headers, and it's kind of class, and in my inherit in the public queue object. Uh, insert the queue object and uh, any queue object that it's uh, that you're working is it the micro so the point here is that all the test cases will be here in the queue slots private a private queue slot uh, you might like to enlist all these test cases and do as follow so um, I also think that Uncle Bob said that you want to do this uh, method, so these functions in these kind of names, saying, okay, this is the infix index analyzer, uh, and we are going to test that the compiler has uh, good setups. So if you wanted to go there, we're trying to reproduce all this stuff, uh, create a tribute that tie, uh, object, a lex analyzer object. Uh, pretty, pretty much the same that they meant that CPP and the unique different part is the cucumber micro that it throws an exception if this is not uh, true it's a comparison between this one that is throw uh, a boolean at the precative and this one that is a deprecative true and the last point that I want to talk and all these functions are quite similar and the last part and is that it's generated automatically by Qt is the Qt text after this mint it's going to create a mint and you don't have to put anything here just um, this is automatically as I said and include this so um, I think that I don't want to level, level a lot in this unit testing because I don't have any experience in unit testing. But I think that you have more questions, please uh, set it in the comment section. So that's it. And see you to the next time. We're going to continue with the, the few methods that are left in the inference kernel. So thanks.